drop it. They say that the kitchen is the heart of the home, whether small or large. The kitchen is the hub of the home. It is where the meals are created. It fuels the bodies, minds, and souls of friends and families all over the world. There are different kinds of kitchen tools, utensils, and equipment. A pleasant day to all of you. In this video, we are going to discuss the uses and preventive maintenance of kitchen tools, utensils, and equipment. Kitchen tools and utensils. Peeler. Peeler is used to peel off or remove skin of fruits and vegetables. Maintenance. To clean a peeler, rinse it straight after use in cold, clean water. Wash your peeler in warm, soapy water using a scrubbing brush or toothbrush to clean the food residue of the blade. Wash the handle as well to prevent staining. Make sure that the peeler is dried completely before putting it away to prevent rust. Grater. It is used to grate, shred, and slice food such as carrots, cabbage, and cheese. Maintenance. As with many kitchen tools, it's best to clean your grater immediately after every use so that the food remnants don't have a chance to harden on the surface. This will make the cleaning process much easier and less time-consuming. And you can do so with soap, warm water, and a scrub brush. Not a sponge, as the grater could tear up the sponge. Chopping board a cutting board, also known as a chopping board, is a kitchen utensil used as protective surface on which to cut or slice things. Cutting boards are often made of wood, plastic, or cork. Maintenance To avoid bacteria, it is important that you wash your cutting board immediately after use. Wipe the cutting board with a hot soapy water, rinse it with hot water only, and just wipe it dry with a clean dish towel and store it in a dry area. Potato masher. Potato masher are commonly used to smash potatoes. They are also used for mashing a variety of foods. They are most used in home kitchens but may also be used in commercial kitchens. Maintenance. We like to soak our potato masher after each use in soapy warm water for around 10 minutes before removing and drying trolley with a fresh dish cloth. Wave shape. Potato masher require a more delicate touch than other models. West. Use the beer, cold blend, and wet ingredients. Maintenance. Gently clean your west each time after you finish blending the ingredients. Run the prongs under the cold water for a few seconds. Use your fingers to grab any ingredients that might be trapped within the prongs. Dry your whisk after each cleaning using a paper towel or cloth. Place the whisk face up to let the prongs dry in the open air. Or your chasing on a waist holder to prolong its lifespan and protect its shape. Measuring spoons. A measuring spoon is a spoon used to measure an amount of an ingredient, either liquid or dry, when cooking. Measuring spoons may be made of plastic, metal, and other materials. They are available in many sizes, including the teaspoons and tablespoons. Maintenance. Measuring spoons are pretty easy to clean, especially if spoons you are to wash them in warm soapy water then rinse them in clean water. You can use soap sponge or cloth for regular cleaning. Colander. A colander is a plastic or metal bowl that is perforated with many small to medium holes. It is usually has one or two handles for gripping and feet or rent bottom. A colander is used to drain cold food, canned vegetables or fruit and pasta. A colander can be used to rinse fresh vegetables and fruit. The liquid or water runs through the holes and food stays in the bowl. Maintenance at least rinse it well with as much water pressure as possible without sputtering half your kitchen. Unless the cooking process I'm involved with requires immediate attention, I will go ahead and wash the colander right then with soapy water and another rinse. The same things apply to the wire strainers. Clean them quick before the part particles get dried on. Rolling pin. A rolling pin is a long round cylinder used to roll out dough or crush cracker crumbs. Rolling pins are generally made from wood, but can be made from marble, glass, ceramic, porcelain, or plastic. Some rolling pins have the handles at each end, making the rolling pin easier to handle and to allow for uniform pressure to be exerted. Maintenance 
All the rolling pin needs is to be wiped with a damp cloth and then dried with a clean towel. You can wash it with a little warm soapy water if you like, but make sure to immediately and thoroughly dry it. If your rolling pin has bits of dough stuck to it, use a bench scraper to remove them. Tongs For gripping and lifting, usually used to move items on hot surfaces such as barbecues or to select small or group items such as sugar cubes or salad portions. Maintenance Boil it for at least 15 minutes. If the mess is too much, you could double up the time of boiling to make sure that all of the mess is removed. Then you could rinse the tongs in clean, cold water and wipe it clean. Kitchen shears. You can use them to butcher and trim beef, pork, poultry, and fish. Also, to cut different kinds of food including fruits and vegetables. Maintenance. Kitchen shears should be washed and dried between each use. Store shears dry, clean, and in their protective case, pouch, or box. Check blades for sharpness regularly and check tensions as well. Pizza cutter, a curved or circular cutting blade with a handle that serves as a cutting tool to cleanly slice pizza, lasagna, flatbread crust, brownies, and other similar foods into smaller pieces. Maintenance, wash your pizza cutter with running water and soap. When scrubbing it, always go from base to blade to avoid cutting yourself. It is dishwasher safe, but hand wash is always recommended. Mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle is to use to crush food, releasing flavors and aromas. Maintenance. Wash the mortar and pestle in warm water using a clean discharge and mild washing up liquid or soap. And scented is best because scented liquids and soap can leave a perfume on the mortar and pestle that could transfer to food. Use an abrasive dish, sponge, to remove stuff on food. Garlic press. Garlic press is used to crush garlic cloves efficiently by forcing them through a bit of small holes. The maintenance, knead the press with cooking spray before each use. Then after you press your garlic cloves, use a toothbrush to remove a garlic go. Then lastly, rinse with warm water and dry. Kitchen Equipments Oven or kitchen equipment used for roasting and heating meat, casseroles, and baked products such as bread, cake, and various sweets are common only prepared in this manner. Maintenance, make sure of your oven self-cleaning feature, clean your oven regularly, don't remove your oven knobs, inspect and replace your gas line, always unplug oven when you clean, check your LMS burners regularly, take care when baking, don't forget to clean your rocks. Deep fryer. It is used to heat cooking oils fat so that meals may be fully coated in a hot oil and fried. Also referred to as a deep fat frying. Maintenance. Clean your deep fryer daily. Get a professional inspection. Use good quality oil. Change your oil. Adjust fryer temperature. Top of oil every morning. Don't keep your oil cooking temperature. Don't mess with your fryer. The steam cooker is a generally used to prepare vegetables, shellfish, and other meals where moisture preservation is vital for visual appeal and taste. Maintenance is vital that you keep the steamer clean to avoid food contamination depending on the size of the steamer. It in warm water with soap to loosen any food stuck in the appliance. If your steamer is huge, remove the lead, steaming container, and drip tray and soak them in a warm water. Mixer. A mixer is a culinary equipment that is used to combine ingredients or beat food stocks. Maintenance. First is check components for lubrication. Two, maintain the seal. Three, monitor the drive system tension. Four, check the discharge gate operation. Five, protect the mixer tub. Six, clean interventions. Seven, inspect electrical. Eight, check the coefficient of variation. Toaster. A toaster is an electric small appliance designed to expose various types of sliced bread to rich and heat, browning the bread so it becomes toast. Maintenance. Apart from the after use, you should also deep clean the toaster once by using all the important stuff. Brush out crumb tray once a week. Remove your toaster's crumb tray once a week and brush off all the dirt and crumbs. Wipe the exterior every day. This thing is necessary to do on a daily basis. The members of Group 1. Let's start with Avila Rose BF. Batarilan Winston John Aligarbes Dimple May Baron Leslie May Cruz Crystal Joy P Alilin Belly Joy Navarro Anna Hazel M Cabiles Als Vincent Thank you for
for watching our video and have a nice day.